welcome back to my channel. I know I'm a little bit unrecognizable. I recently just got my hair done. It was Friday. I got done on Wednesday. And I wanted a drastic change and change is what I got. Anywho, as y'all can tell from the title, today's video is with, drum roll please, the Urban Decay and Naked Heat Palette. This it's freaking awesome. I want to wait so y'all can see how awesome it is while I'm using it. So this is the packaging and then it just slides out. And then here is the actual palette. So to me the packaging is pretty similar to the Naked Smoky palette. Out of the other, this is the fifth one. So Naked 1, 2, 3, Smoky, and then now the Heat. I know a lot of people are like over this whole Naked Smoky business, but I'm all here for it. I personally love my Naked palettes. I don't reach for them as much anymore. They were one of my first palettes. I'm sure a lot of people can say that. But when I saw these colors, I was like, now I know I have like the Morphe 350 and other palettes that have warm tones in it, but I needed this. Like, it wasn't a want. It was a need. I am a sucker for warm tones and this is just giving me life. It's giving me fall vibes. The Naked Palettes always come with a brush and they're actually really good quality. I personally enjoy them and I actually like this one. This one is different than any of the other ones. I personally like this better, which is this is the new part of the brush. And as you can see, it's dirty from when I used it the other day. That other brush is different. It's a smaller, like, crease definer brush. I am really liked it, so I'm gonna use this again because I'm using, obviously, the same colors. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the eye look. As you can see, I already have all of my face products on, and girl, can we just talk about this highlight? Like, give it to me. Anywho, my highlight, I have to tell y'all, is the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition from BH Cosmetics. Girl, look at it. May have gone a little overboard, but it's okay. I like to shine. Let's get right on into this eye look. So I'm just going to zoom you in. So I already have my eyes concealed and set. I use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Porcelain, and I use, um, my two highlighting shades from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. If you want to know what my foundation routine is or my eyebrow routine, I will go ahead and link my tutorials down in the description box below. To start off, I def you definitely could set your eyes with this second shade called Chaser. It is a matte, like, bone color. It's perfect for setting the eyes. I would have used that if I would have known that I had that shade, but I'm going to dip into Sauce first, which is the third color. I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush. This is just a brush from the from one of the Anastasia palettes. So I'm just going to start working this into the crease. I think I may be going for a smokier look today, so this is going to go inner corner to outer corner since this is acting as our transition shade. So this can go slightly above the crease. All these bangs may be in the way. I'm going to take this fluffy brush that I use to set my eyes and go ahead and blend out the edges. Once you're satisfied with blending, then we're going to dip into the next color, which is a low bow, low below. It's right next to Sauce. I'm actually going to pick that up with the same fluffy brush and we're going to work that in the crease as well. Same motions, inner corner to outer corner, focusing this more in the crease. If you can see I'm like pushing in my crease. Slightly bringing it up into the transition shade. So far these are very pigmented. They are buildable which I really like. It's not the kind of palette that, boom, you just tap it on your eye and you make a huge mistake. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Where you just get a little too much eyeshadow and you can't really blend it out. Yeah, I like palettes that are buildable so you don't run into that issue. Again, going in with the fluffy brush, use to blend out the edges from the first shade. We're gonna do that again. Pretty much after every shade in the crease, you wanna go in with either a clean fluffy brush 
one fluffy brush you use to set your eyelids with like a bone color, like a matte white or a matte color to set the eyelids. So then I want to dip into Cayenne, Cayenne, Cayenne. It is this shade right here. And we're gonna start working that onto the lid, but slightly into the crease on the same brush. Hey. And like I said, onto the lid at first and then blending it up into the crease. To achieve a good smoky eye, I highly recommend building your colors rather than like going in with like two shades, one in the crease, one in the lid. You're gonna have a better outcome if you build up to the shades rather than dipping right into black. Okay, so now we are moving on to the lid shades. I'm first going to start off with Enfuego. It is like a more magenta, like a dark magenta color. That's the way I look at it. I'm going to take it on this side of the brush that it came with and start packing this onto the lid and ever so slightly into the crease. Oh wow. I find that packing the color gets the most pigment rather than like dragging it. So if you want like a nice defined color, either in the outer corner, on the lid, or wherever in your look, then pack it on. Whatever I have left on the brush, I blend up into the crease. Not picking up any more color. Going into the brush we were using in the crease to blend this together. We go together like whatever they say. Next shade is ashes. Ashes, ashes. We all fall down. Darkest shade in the palette. I did not use this the other day when I had tried this out. So I'm just gonna pack this lower on the lash line just to deepen the lower part of it up. Then I'm actually going to take the other side of this brush and go in with a low blow. Blend this out. I'm going to add a little bit of Heat Devil in the crease just to warm it up a little bit. And then we are going to take the crease brush and pick up Soused and go underneath. I'm going to make it smoky all the way around. And this is going to be a smoked out look y'all. Going right around, connecting it so it flows together. So taking the fluffy brush that has like no color on it and really blending the shade out. So I'm going to go in with this definer brush and pick up a low blow. Start smoking that out. Again, not bringing it as low as sauce. Going in with this fluffy brush and what do you know? Blending it up. And I'm gonna go in a little bit with He Devil and go right up on the lash line. Okay, and I'm gonna flip it over and start picking up in Fuego. Start packing this on the lash line. And then connecting it to the darker shade out here. Okay, so for the glitter liner, I'm gonna start off by using this Revlon Dual. Finger my bobber. This is in Twinkle Topaz, Twinkle My Toes. Topaz Twinkle, that's what it's in. I'm going to use the sparkly side of it. This is gonna act as like our glitter glue and the base for the liner. So I'm gonna start off with a, a line on my lash line. And then I'm going to really quickly, so quick, Guys, I'm just working so quick. Where did I put the glitter that I was going to use? Oh, it's right here. I'm going to use the NYX Copper Glitter. I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush and just pick that up and start packing it onto the glitter liner. This will also like help set. Going back in with the glitter liner. And I'm going to attempt a wing with this bad boy. Let's see how this goes. Going with a very light hand. We have the wing. Now very quickly pick up the glitter and start packing it on. You definitely can just use some glitter glue and a angled brush and create the line that create the wing that way. So there is our copper wing. I'm digging it. Hey guys, I'm back. Of course, my right when I was saying 
when I was finishing on my eyes, I was like, I'm surprised my camera hasn't died yet. Boom. Or not died. I'm surprised my camera hasn't ran out of space yet. Boom. Ran out of space. So I just went ahead and popped on some lashes. And the only thing I did besides popping on some lashes and some liner, and of course I did a lip color. I'll tell you that in a second. But anywho, the only thing I did was pop on this color right here. The first shade is a light shimmery shade. The color is Ounce. I did that a little bit in the inner corner and as well on the brow bone. And then the lip combo I used today was, where did it get? Was um, this NYX lip liner in the color Natural Rayo. Um, I went ahead and lined out my lips. And then I put the soft matte lip cream in Abu Dhabi all over and then just a little teensy bit in the center I popped on this butter gloss in tiramisu just to give me like a juicier lip look I don't know I wanted to put a nude on the lips to have more of a focus be on the eyes since we did do a pretty glam eye today so yeah my overall thoughts on the naked heat is a plus 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. Like I said, even if you already have a warm tone palette, this palette is amazing. And if you already have the naked, so you might as well just get the last one, I mean. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I would really, truly, truly appreciate it. And then, I mean, while you're down there, there is that, like, I think it's a red button. I think it says, like, sub sub subscribe yeah that's what it says so you might as well just subscribe um i do post videos now every monday and thursday so it's like a tv show we get it twice a week so go ahead and subscribe and again while you're down there hit that ring or that bell <laughs> um it'll give you notifications every time i post a new video again like i said every monday and thursday are new videos tutorials reviews for suppressions whatever y'all want to see like, I'm willing to take requests, so if you have any requests for videos, go ahead and comment those down below. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really love how it turned out, and I hope you guys have a great day. See you in my next video.